Decision time in Macomb County. Prosecutor Eric Smith facing criticism about his spending of forfeiture funds, which could lead to the Board of Commissioners demanding a forensic audit. Mara McDonald is live in Mount Clemens tonight with what we're hearing about it. Mara. Devin, sources telling us there's a lot of politicking going on behind the scenes over what kind of audit to ask for here. Do you do something macro that just sort of glazes over the surface, or do you do a forensic audit that goes back seven years? At issue, those public monies and civil asset forfeiture that the county prosecutor has been managing without any county oversight for years. Since a judge forced the Macomb County prosecutor to turn over the checks he's written out of the funds because two activists sued to have them released, plenty of eyebrows have been raised over what the money has been going for. I wish when you look through these checks that I wasn't seeing uh, so many questionable expenditures. Asset forfeiture monies are to be used to enforce criminal laws and implement the Victims Crime Act. In other words, their use is specific and targeted. In a look at the checks Smith was forced to turn over, there are thousands of dollars that have been sent to local police departments, which is what they're supposed to be used for. But there are also over $100,000 worth of checks paying off Visa and American Express bills with no notation for what they're for. And there's more thousands of dollars in checks to charity, which is noble, except these public monies aren't designated for that, plus thousands to restaurants and country clubs, and so much more. The Board of Commissioners meets tomorrow to figure out what to do, and calls for a forensic audit are mounting. I'm very concerned, and I think that, um, I think the County Board of Commissioners has a job to do here, and that is to go back and audit these funds, and make sure they've been spent appropriately, because on the surface, Looking through those checks raises a lot more questions than it answers. Back here live, I did get a statement from Prosecutor Eric Smith tonight, which in part reads, every penny spent has been spent to enhance law enforcement, plain and simple, and we look forward to an audit to get the political motivations set aside. Smith also telling me tonight that he wonders at the timing of all this and why somebody hasn't said something years ago. Devin, Karen. Back to you. Mara, can I assume that the way that counties handle these forfeiture funds, uh, the money in these funds, kind of varies? Uh, no, actually. Most, I would say, all the counties in Michigan handle asset forfeiture funds by having them run through the county treasurer and then, you know, you can request monies to be used for something. Yeah. That's not how things run in Macomb. That's not how this has been done here. Um, and this has now changed because this became an issue last year when the county treasurer went public um, with his questions about why Eric Smith was managing these asset forfeiture funds this way instead of running them through the county. Yeah. And it's pretty clear from Corporation Council here in Macomb that they believe that the law dictates it's got to go through the treasurer's yeah, so office. Been an outlier on the way they've done it. All right, fascinating, Mark.